vape fans, and welcome to another episode of the Mount Baker Vapor Tutorial Series. My name is Michaela Burkhart, and today we're going to be talking about propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin. PG and VG are, is what we use as a base for your electronic cigarette. So for example, as you see these bottles up here, when you order, you're going to get propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin. First, let's discuss propylene glycol. Now, don't worry, it's used in quite a few pharmaceutical solvents such as topical creams, oral supplements, and IV injections. It is also considered GRAS, which is, stands for Generally Recognized as Safe, through the Food and Drug Association of the United States. Now, we use propylene glycol as um, what carries the flavor. You're going to get more of a throat hit. Let's go over exactly what products you can buy that actually have propylene glycol. Now, as you can see in front of me, we have salad dressing, deodorants, cough syrup, cake mix, and my favorite, frosting. I ate a little earlier. Um, <laughs> all of these have propylene glycol in them. Now, let's move on to vegetable glycerin. Let's just look at the products that we have in front of me that actually have vegetable glycerin. Now we don't have a lot with us currently, but what we do have is an actual um, pharmaceutical lotion that you can use to bring the moisture out of your skin, and then we also have cough syrup as well. Vegetable glycerin is also used in food products to hold in the moisture. Also, you'd be surprised on the amount of creams that you buy in most stores as well. For example, lotion. Next, let's discuss the difference in ratios. Now, some get confused when they see so many options. Um, those ratios always will begin with propylene glycol and then move to vegetable glycerin. So when you hear our lovely customer service people say 50-50 or 20-80, they're actually putting that in order for you automatically. So always remember, propylene glycol first, then vegetable glycerin. Now, when you order these different ratios, you're going to get either more throat hit, which is propylene glycol, or more vapor, which is uh, vegetable glycerin. Now, just remember, when you use these ratios, it, it comes down to the person. So if you call us and say, what do you think I should get, we won't know the answer. You, it, it really is trial basis on what you prefer. Now, let's discuss the effects of propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin on your tanks and your cartomizers. Now, if you get max PG, you have a very high chance of flooding those cartomizers and those coils that you get, primarily because it's so thin. It's almost like water. And if you get max VG on the other end, it's so thick, the viscosity of it is compared to molasses. Um, you're going to actually end up having dry hits. Most of you are wondering, well, how do, I how do I avoid such a silly thing? Well, you can get different blends to start, so 50-50 is a wonderful starting point for someone who's new. Um, but for propylene glycol, when it comes to flooding, don't vape like you're trying to suck a ball through a garden hose. It doesn't need that. They'll automatically vape just fine. If it comes to your coils not, or your wicks not getting soaked up properly, then what you can do is you can do what's called dry pulls. Basically, you are not going to turn your battery on. You're going to vape it just normally. You're not going to get any vapor or anything. It's just basically you're pulling that vegetable glycerin down onto the wicks, soaking the wicks a little bit, do it about one to two to three times maybe, and then go ahead and vape normally. And that way those wicks get properly soaked so you're not getting dry, burnt tastes. And now remember, the biggest lesson you're going to learn from this video is number one, I don't know what you like. It comes down to what you prefer and what you like. Secondly, do not worry about propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin. As you can see in front of me, we have a few products that you most likely have had at least once in your life. So they are generally recognized as safe by the United States Food and Drug Administration. And three, most important, now don't forget this, get your pen and papers out and start writing. You need to subscribe to Mount Baker Vapor on YouTube and please leave your comments and compliments. That way we can know more about you and you can know more about us. And have a wonderful day.